Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. Today, I'm excited to do an unboxing of the 8-bit dough wireless Bluetooth controller that I got for my Apple II Plus and Apple IIe. This was a Kickstarter that just came out a couple months ago, and it just arrived the other day. So let's do an unboxing and see how it works. All right, so here's the box that I received from Hong Kong the other day. So this is from a company called 8-Bit Do, Do, and they've been making uh, retro connectors and controllers, and they had a Kickstarter a couple months ago for a Bluetooth controller for games that could also connect into your Apple II. So let's see what we got in the package, and you can tell I've already opened it up before, just to make sure everything was okay. So... Let's see what we've got here. And you can see we've got a bunch of goodies. Uh, let's see, the main thing is the Bluetooth controller. So that's right here, here's our gamepad controller. Uh, we've got a little another box here. And then finally we have some sort of connector. So let's see what we've got. Uh, here in the little box, and you can see how cute it is, it's got the little Apple, looks like uh, Apple II Plus there. Um, it says Retro Receiver AP40. And it's from 8-Bit Doe. And see right there, everything old is new again. So this is the receiver that you plug into the back of your Apple IIc or Apple IIe. And you can see that has the nine pin connector to go into the joystick port. And then this is the Bluetooth uh, to hook into the gamepad. And then let's switch to this real quick. So this is actually a bonus that they included. This is a connector for an Apple II or Apple II Plus, And this goes from the 16-pin uh, gamepad inside, the gamepad connector inside the Apple II to a 9-pin. Uh, so that's really nice because that actually converts from an old-style joystick port to the newer style. Uh, and I have to say that the packaging on this thing is fantastic. You can see the nice box. Uh, it kind of looks like an Apple II Plus computer. Uh, it's really cute. And let's see what we got inside here. So here's the box itself. And we've got some directions. And there is the controller and you can see it's packaged really nicely. Uh, it comes with a little leaf that you can put into the top. Ooh. So that's really cute. And it looks really nice, it's well made. Uh, this appears, at first I thought it was a sticker, but it actually appears to just be uh, painted on the plastic, so that's really great. Um, and then let's see what we have underneath here. So, and this actually, the packaging is really nice. It kind of reminds me of like Apple packaging or something like that. Uh, but inside here, there's two more little boxes and that's it for that. Uh, the first one, what do we have in here? Uh, it's a keychain. FC30. Everything old is new again. Okay, in memory of FC since July 15th, 1983. Okay. And then here it looks like uh, we have the USB charging cable. Uh, yep, sure enough, a nice flat cable uh, to charge the gamepad. Awesome. So it looks like we got everything. So let's try and hook it up. And I think what I'll do is first I'll hook it up to my uh, Mac just to make sure that that works as a normal Bluetooth controller and then we'll hook it up to the uh, Apple. And this, let's see if we can get the gamepad synced up to the Mac. So I'm going to hit the power switch here on the bottom and that turns it on. And now it should be discoverable. 
there we go, 8-bit 8 8-bit 8 dough NES 30 Pro connected. All right, so I downloaded Open Emu, which is a emulator for a bunch of games. And then I downloaded the Legend of Zelda ROM. Um, and to get it working with the 8-bit dough controller, I just did preferences. All right, we'll pick the Super Nintendo. That looks like about the closest. And for input, we'll pick the NES 30. And then we'll go up here and click up. Here's select, here's start, uh, A, B, X, Y, and let's see, gameplay, left, right, okay, and I think we're good to go. So now we can go ahead and click start, here we go. So here I am. Ooh, oops. I have no idea how to play this. Ken Gagney's gonna make fun of me. Uh, how do I, do I fight? Uh, I'm just gonna run away. All right, so you can see that the uh, controller works with the Mac. I'm sure it'll work with a PC also. You can also sync it up to iOS, so an iPad or um, I'm sure Android or something like that. So now let's go ahead and we'll attach it to my Apple II. All right, so I've got the Bluetooth receiver here and I have that into the adapter cable going into my Apple II Plus. So I have this plugged into the 16 pin connector on the Apple II Plus motherboard and I made sure to plug pin one into the correct spot. And now I need to pair the controller with the receiver so to do that it says let's say I probably need power so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the Apple and I'll just stop the disc okay that's blinking so let me press that and then it says to press this button okay so let's see what this instructions say Wait until both LEDs are solid blue. Okay, I guess they're paired. Uh, let's go ahead and see what happens. So, I will fire up, let's see, let's do choplifter. Okay, well, it definitely, oh, there. So Y is spin around. Okay, definitely looks like uh, it could use some trim. I'm not sure how to adjust that. All right, well, let's go see if we can go do something. So the controller definitely works right out of the box. Uh, it was a little tricky to actually get it to sync up. I'm not quite sure in the end how I actually did it. Uh, I might want to reread the little manual that came with it to make sure. Uh, but got it to work. Uh, it's actually nice. Feels nice. It's easy to hold. Um, oops. Ooh, I just killed both of those guys. Sorry. Okay. And yeah. So overall, uh, come on. Ah. Okay, so the controller works great. Uh, you can pair it up with your, in this case, it's a Apple II Plus. Uh, I'm sure it would work with a 2E or a 2C as well. And I don't know if these are gonna be available um, outside of the Kickstarter. So if you didn't order one through the Kickstarter, you might have to wait a few months until they get all the orders done. And then maybe they'll actually put some more of them on sale. All right, so let's try a little Castle Wolfenstein and see how the game pad works with that. Ooh, I'm a colonel. Uh, so it's already paired, so we should be good to go. And I selected joystick mode for this. So this would be, Castle Wolfenstein is a really good test. Ooh, there. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's definitely pretty finicky in terms of the controls. I wish there was some way to actually adjust it. You can see how I'm actually running into lots of stuff.
So overall, I don't think I can give it two thumbs up, maybe one and a half thumbs. Uh, it works great on a Mac or a PC, and it has a really nice form factor, it looks nice. Uh, the overall execution and packaging are great. However, as an Apple II controller, it's uh, not so good, uh, mainly because it just gets pegged to one value or another, uh, somewhere between 0 and 255. I did some tests by running a basic program, and it was really hard to get it to stay anywhere in the middle. Uh, so unlike, for example, say, a TG joystick, uh, where you can reliably get pretty much any value between 0 and 255, uh, this controller is pretty much either just uh, 0 or 255. Uh, sometimes you can get it a little bit in the middle, but not so much. Uh, so for some Apple games, it might be fine, like Choplifter. For others, say Castle Wolfenstein, uh, not so good because you want it to be able to just sit in the middle and not move around. So overall, um, I'm still happy that I got it. Um, I'll probably use it as a controller on my PC games, but for the Apple II, uh, probably won't use it very much. Uh, maybe just to kind of show off uh, or maybe for certain games or something like that. Um, so I think if you were going to get it just for the Apple II, then I couldn't really recommend it um, just because you might get limited use out of it. Uh, but if you want it just for either the looks or to use it as a general game controller, uh, then I think it's great. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.